starters, Mike, you've never played better, and you only had one hand. I know. <laughs> Where's that guy been for the last four years? I just chased it better. <laughs> They're Doracell. I love that you say. Just like my woman, she's got a chocolate bunny for Mike. <laughs> Mike looks like he needs a good one. He sure as shit did. You know what? <laughs> this, is, this is the second time in a row that I thought you were looking at me. <laughs> that, like, there was last My eyes are crossed. Like two weeks ago, you were like, like this. I was like, <laughs> and then like Richard was like, <laughs> and you were dancing with Richard. And then this time, I was like, oh my god. Rob, and you Richard, like, Rob, and I was like, Rob, Rob, oh. Rob you'll know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Junior. That's fair. That's fair. In fairness, we both got shot down. I was over here waving to her from behind Robot Mike. <laughs> just like, just totally dust to this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ruth Connell. Thank you. Thank you to the lovely lady who gave me the chocolate bunny that I immediately gave away. <laughs> that took a lot for me to give that bunny away. Uh, it's my favorite chocolate in the world. Mine. <laughs> I think so. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, not, just, I'm not even here. You're having a fiddle in the corner. It's kind of obscene. And what are you doing? I'm trying to get this off my mic. That's what she said! <laughs> I got a bit of beard on my lips. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thanks so much for staying uh, for my wee panel. <laughs> so to thank you for staying for my wee panel, I have some goodies. Yeah. You know this? This is for me. Uh, this is my lunch. Uh, and what I have all the way, I just was in New Zealand. I don't know if you saw me on Twitter. And do you all know about my hotel giveaway section? So they, these babies have done a lot of air miles, let me tell you. These, um, uh, oh, no, not that. Uh, we'll come to that. It's too soon to see sanitary bag. Shower cap. <laughs> And you can tell I'm, I'm telling the truth because you can see how squashed it's got in my case. <laughs> so, whoever's brave enough to ask a question, you will be the lucky recipient of a hotel toiletry. <laughs> all, all the way from New Zealand, bro. <laughs> uh, is there anybody here who's actually from Vegas? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Do you just party all the time? No. <laughs> <laughs> The novelty's worn off. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is my second time in Vegas, and the last time I enjoyed myself so much, I went home with a chest infection. <laughs> so I'm trying to take it a bit calmer this time. It's not going very well. So. <laughs> the kilt gets it. What, what's your name? Where are you from? And what do you want? I'm Crowley, and I'm from, the, I'm from hell. <laughs> <laughs> my my question is you uh, ask Mark you address Mark as Petal on Twitter a lot it's and it. if you if Rowena actually loved Fergus and didn't abandon him and treat him like a monster would she have a nickname for him if she loved him I like I liked it when I called him sausage <laughs> Are we sausage uh, <laughs> I think I'll stick with sausage. Uh, the, the thing that people need to know, who, who here has been to Scotland? <laughs> when you were there, did you have square sausage? Yeah. Is it the best thing you've ever tasted? Yeah. So he'd be my wee square sausage. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to, you're going to be the benefactor of, not the sanitary bag, that's not, that's not, uh, shampoo. <laughs> Uh, it's French Connection, so that's quite fancy. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Thank you. Oh. That's a bit of an oh. <laughs> are you are you a real are you a real Scotsman under your kilt? Yes. Okay, I'm not going to ask you to prove it. 
No offense. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your My name is Rini, and I'm from Orlando. Um, and I got to see you in Jacksonville, which was so much fun. And I wonder if you ever got that tea that you wanted. We sent you some, but I don't know if you got it. I got the, the boss delivered it. I think I didn't probably want on stage. <laughs> so you know, you know you're special when uh, you get tea delivery on stage. <laughs> Um, so my question is, um, when we last see Rowena, she finally admits to Polly that she actually did love him. And so my question is, would, uh, act if she hadn't been, um, injured, so to speak, um, <laughs> um, well, it might already be one, I'm sorry. I can't believe um, you're bringing this up, it's still too painful, <laughs> it's still too soon. I know. But continue. Okay, sir. Um, but do you think she would have continued to believe that, or would she immediately have taken it back? Well, I think I'm explaining to him why I couldn't love him. I was, ex I think, I, I was explaining my vulnerability, and you know, Rowena admitting that she loved his father and how badly she'd been treated by him it was real, it was really vulnerable making. And the only reason I was doing it is because I was under a spell. Oh, it seems like and heels. Um, what was the question? <laughs> um, it's it's Sunday in Vegas. <laughs> I'm barely holding it together. Um, if she had survived um, and she, the spell wasn't there anymore, would she have continued to admit that or would she have No! <laughs> no! Why on earth would fly in there? Why on earth would she admit it? She doesn't. Ruina, unlike me, I'm like, I have truth to it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm like, this is not helping me sing this, but I'll just tell you anyway, because I feel like a guilty person if I don't tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Rowena's not like that. She enjoys keeping things close to her chest and to herself. She's got lots of secrets, I think. Thank you for your question. <sighs> I can't even see the back of the room, the lights are so bright. Is, it, is this how Frank Sinatra felt? He didn't have his bigger crowd. Uh, hi. Uh, I was wondering, you probably already know this, but do you think there's going to be any plans to bring back Rowena? And if so, how do you think we're going to take care of it? So, I probably already know this, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, we didn't know season 12 was going to be happening until pretty recently. So, I mean, I'm sure they tied that up in season 11 if she was going to be coming back. Possibly. <laughs> you, think, you think the writers are way more organized than they actually are? <laughs> Bless you. No, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They are, I'm sure they are. Um, again, I can't believe you're bringing it up. It's still too painful. I'm going to give you a sanitary bag. <laughs> uh, but also, um, also some chocolate. <laughs> see how I just buy that? I can see you all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna come around. Okay, thank you, darling. <coughs> see, um, this is my time to get hugs. <laughs> uh, I'm single. <laughs> this is not a cry for help. <laughs> a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Hello. Right. So, I'm going to listen as you ask your question. I want to come back around. Is that okay? Yeah. No, too. Cool. <laughs> uh, so, my name is Amber. Uh, born and raised in Vegas, actually. And yes, the novelty definitely wears off. I worked on the strip for many years. There is no novelty at all. But this is still fun. And I'm so glad that you guys come here and have such a great time with us. And yeah. Uh, so amazing. I, I, was, I, was so, I was really excited to get off the plane, off of my third plane yesterday. <laughs> I was really excited. Uh, so my question is, one of my favorite moments of this season so far has been Rowena fangirling over Luc Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> that was so easy. <laughs> I bet, I bet. I'm already a fangirl of Mark Pellegrino anyway. <laughs> So I was just wondering if we had gotten more time to see more of Rowena and how much she loved him, what are some specific things that she really, really loved about Lucy and how would she have portrayed that in the same way that we kind of do our own fangirling? This, this is really, I like your costume, it's very nice. You even got the detail right in the brooch. Oh, she found the dress. Hi. 
Right, right. So, the way I am, I oh, sorry, can I get in the way if you go back to your seat? Okay. I like your hair. Okay. I'll take it. Um, so, what is, the, what is there not to like about Satan? No. <laughs> let's, just, let's just be frank. Um, he promises you everything you've ever wanted. Uh, I read the interview, because um, I'm a stalk, stalker too of Misha. Okay, there I said it. Um, I read the interview Misha gave uh, about speaking to Mark. Pellegrino, and uh, I love that because Misha said, you know, actors like to kind of just turn up and pretend they know what to do and all that. And, uh, they, and I, I, do, I do that, I'll always try and work with people if I can, before or whatever, and one of the things he said about what Lucifer said, what Bart Pellegrino said, is he sees everyone like toys and he's always thinking about sex. Is that right? <laughs> Something like that, I'm paraphrasing. And got just got phones, just phones. Oh, thank you. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing that? I just like to go at the back to check everyone's still away. <laughs> uh, so I think Romina would like those aspects of Satan. <laughs> Satan. You can tell I'm a Catholic. I was brought up as a Catholic. Uh, all that stuff comes out, even though you suppress it, it eventually comes out. Hi. Again. Oh, what's his name? Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello, I love you. Hi. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I'm going to bonk you in the bum with a rose. Don't worry, your hotel toilet is on its way. <laughs> is anybody here after four days? I so appreciate you being here, by the way. <laughs> is anybody else feeling flawless? Absolutely flawless. Is there anyone here who feels flawless? Well, I do this thing called the B Club Mega Mix. I'm going to try and get you guys to do it. And I thought I might add a flawless section. A voguing flawless section into it. Are you up for that? Okay, so this is soap. This is this is Star Prize, this one. And um, it's got some gel on it because I didn't screw the, the <laughs> <laughs> I honestly my ex-boyfriend said to me, How do you get through life? So I, said, I do something to wonder. <laughs> Thank you for your question. It's a good question. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, we have a little ginger number over here. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Which one? My name's Danielle and I'm from Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. Oh, hi. I, I just wanted to know if you believed in the supernatural in real life. Totally. Yeah. Seriously? Next question. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, th I'm, I always say, like Erica Carroll. Do you know Erica who played Hannah? We're like... Cosmic Sisters or something. She's the 10th of April, I'm the 20th of April. Her birthday. And Elena's the 17th. I'm the 7th. You're the 7th. <laughs> got horns in, no matter what. And um, I'm tuned to the moon. I do believe in the Matrix. Uh, I don't mean the film. I do, I do believe in the film, The Matrix. It's a great movie. I just saw it recently again. You should revisit that stuff. And Sense 8. Which is made by the same people. Yeah. Totally awesome. Um, yeah, I I grew up I grew up in a house that's over three hundred years old. Wow. And my neighbour we had one neighbour uh, in the house closest to the farm, and he, the nephew was a boy who's a year older than me, Jamie. And I used to have to walk Jamie home in the dark because he was too scared. And I was just like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because when you're from somewhere and you live somewhere. Um, and we used to go in, there was an old deserted house, we used to call it the haunted house, we used to go in and I'm not sure I believe in um, literal things, I'm not sure, but I definitely have a healthy respect for the supernatural. <laughs> I do, because I, I don't think it's supernatural, I think it's kind of just energy, 
and just not quite how we under, understand it. I could talk about this stuff for ages. <laughs> Go on and on and on. But what about you? What do you think? Um, I think there's something out there, but I don't know what it is exactly. So I'm open for anything, really. Did you come here for this? Did you travel over yeah. or you live here? Oh. Yeah. Well, we also came over for my birthday. And then... oh. That's so cool. Oh, thank you. Here's your <laughs> body lotion. <laughs> You can rub it all over the <laughs> I get really saucy when I get up here, and I think it's I think it's partly the Rowena thing because I'm really actually pretty like tame and lame. <laughs> I'm drinking green tea. It's not exactly rock and roll. <laughs> okay, so there's gin in it. But... <laughs> hey, this. <one. laughs> can anybody here do an Elvis impersonation? <laughs> Can anyone do an Elvis? I haven't seen an Elvis since I came to Vegas. I was really disappointed. I thought they'd be like lying in the corridors. No, no one. This is your chance for this is your chance for stardom. Let me tell you. Uh -huh. Oh, you did. No, did he? Did he? How, what, what words did he say to say you were married? Was there? A, Impersonation is almost as good as um, my uh, Dean impersonation. Ram? <laughs> Can we do that again? Ram? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this because they've already gone, huh? <laughs> you can't tell them in the next panel that I did that. <laughs> They're behind me? No? <laughs> Um, so, I don't give chocolate away very easily. That was painful. The lint bunny. I'm going to buy one as soon as I get back to LA. So this, this is a cookie that's <laughs> travelled quite a few air miles. It's been on three flights, four taxis, two buses, and a... What's it? I mean, that's okay. Once um, my mom has like this little thing on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And uh, so I actually, like, I found chocolate in that when I was eight, and I ate it. And it was, like, as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> Did it taste okay? Uh, I mean, it tasted better than medicine. <laughs> tasted better than benelin. <laughs> do you guys don't have benelin, do you? No. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> it tastes, what's that um, liqueur? It was made by the monks. It's like that. Fear. Make you sick. It, it makes you sick so you forget about your fever because you're super sick. You know, anyway, so this is for you. What's your question? Thank you. Uh, so I know that Rowena isn't really evil. She's more kind of like a self Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she's not, I mean, she's not really a villain. She's just like, you know, she shouldn't ally herself with like people. She's just kind of like, you know, she knows what she wants. She's independent and she gets it. Exactly. And so, oh, I'm going to get you another cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I was wondering, did you find this were attractive because he was evil or because he was just attractive? Um, well, I mean, Mark Pellegrino hasn't exactly been hit on the head with an ugly brush. Has he? <laughs> Not really. I think it's, it's, it's his power. Yeah, he's a master of very powerful and. I think it's women. I'm just going to speak for all women generally, because that's always a really <laughs> safe thing to do. Uh, I think when, when a woman, or uh, maybe, maybe it's not to do with male and female, maybe it's feminine and masculine, I don't know. When you see somebody being really capable, really good at what they do, it's really sexy. Yeah. Which is why I think we fancy so many unattractive actors. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because they're up in front of you, and if they're really good at what they do, you know, you have crushes on people like, Columbo, or you know, no, I don't, right? No, really, but do you know what I mean? Because he just, because he's good at stuff. He's a master manipulator. He, yeah, he's, he's an alpha, and Rowena needs an alpha. So you've got poppy candy, actually. Thank you. Let me see your wings. Oh, hey, nice, eh? 
Thank you. How are you doing? Yeah? Enjoying volunteering? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the danger zone because you're in front of me. <laughs> you called out. Anyway, hello, young man. Hello, I'm, What's your name? I'm Graham from Santa Ana, California. Oh. And I was just thinking, you had a, a really interesting career so far, in kind of two parts, going from theater in the UK to TV and movies over here. I was wondering, what's the biggest culture shock in the audition process when you want a job over here versus back there? Huh. I think a big culture shock to me, I don't know quite how I'm going to get up now. Without <laughs> <laughs> like putting my ass in all your faces. <laughs> These are, <laughs> um, these are not my pants. Uh, these are somebody else's pants that they gave me as a present. <laughs> I'm really happy about them. Uh, these are my, Misha said, these are my legacy pants. Because somebody from Star Trek gave me them. <laughs> Do you know Marina Sirtis? Yeah! <laughs> these are hers. <laughs> and I, get, I got them. Uh, the biggest culture shock for me, coming to America, apart from the fact you guys say gas, not petrol, <laughs> and uh, various other things like that. Uh, condominium, yeah, flats, apartment, what are, what's all the stuff about condominium? It's, like, it's your flat. <laughs> Alu aluminium, aluminium, Al yeah, there's that, that tongue twister, isn't there? Um, the, what I found tricky, and it's not a culture shock, it's just it's part of my journey, was that I felt I worked very hard in Britain and I considered myself, my ambition used to be to be a working actor because the, like 90% of actors are unemployed at any given moment, right? So I, I was really proud to do a voiceover and do a corporate role play and do a play. And, do you know what I mean? To be a work. It taking me a long time to get there and I was really happy with that. And then when I came to America, because I didn't ha I didn't come off of the back of Downton Abbey or something big, I really was treated like I wasn't a working actor. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's lots of people who go to LA who haven't trained or haven't done a lot and I found it impossible to, to get seen. Uh, it was, that was really tough. So um, it was good for my ego. There's all these things, there's all the difficult things in life are. It's good for the ego. Um, it's pretty humbling and it just makes you appreciate any success all the more, like I do now. I'm so happy that I can be here in Vegas with you guys because of the show. That's amazing. Mm. Do, you, do you like Sam? Sam? Yeah. You're not a sound boy? No, I'm not a sound boy. My boyfriend really likes Dean, so I don't know. Oh, but you'd rather have Sam? Okay. So I mean, uh, okay. And you've got some hair shears now. <laughs> Thank you for your question. She is. She's awesome. How are we doing for time? Have I got time to do the Deep Club Mega Mix? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so everyone knows what V stands for. Vagina. Thank you. <laughs> M for Mega. Yeah. Are you excited? Are you excited? This means you're inaugurated into the Mega Coven when you do this. And then I video it and I put it up on Facebook. Ah, you can see yourselves dumping about in Vegas. Right. Okay. So the V Club Mega Mix. I go one, two, three, and I have to try and remember to do one, two, three, because that doesn't always happen. But I go one, two, three, and then you guys all at the same time go. You ready? You want to say it out loud as well. V club? V club. Okay, you need to rehearse. <laughs> doesn't just happen like magic. Okay, V club, and you want to squeeze your cleavage together, especially the men. V club, mega. This is good change.
Vždycky to bylo, že jsi tady. This will keep you going for the rest of the day, honestly. You'll be glad you did this. I was speaking into my cup, not the microphone. Hey, welcome to Jared's world. Okay, so, so disco ball change, disco ball change, and this is a really important bit. This is the bit that sells it. Hell yeah. Okay? And then we'll see if we can add flawless, absolutely flawless. Okay, so after three, one, two, three. V club mega, disco ball change, disco ball change. Oh yeah! Okay, that was pretty good. It was almost as good as Nashville. Jacksonville oh. is. You have to do it louder and prouder okay. uh, if you want to beat Nashville, especially you. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And when, when we do the hell yeah, right? Why don't we go to a freestyle? of flawless, absolutely flawless, <laughs> and just see what happens. Let's just do that, right? Let's not practice that. Let's just see what happens. Okay? Okay. This is going to work. It's totally going to work. <laughs> if I can unlock my phone, it'll work really well. Oh, okay, right. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. <laughs> I want to see your best book. Oh, come on, Vogue. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do this, so you're all going to get it, so you've all got to do it. Are you ready, Vegas? Woo! Okay, after three, one, two, three. Be Club Mega, Disco Ball Change, Disco Ball Change. Wasn't on. Okay, but basically you're asking me what have I got coming up, what else have I got that you can see me in. And what your favourite thing is coming up next. Oh, okay, um, I've got lots of cons, <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty tired just looking at the, the itinerary, like, oh, there and there and there, it's amazing. Um, my friend, I'll do a, a, maybe you can tweet her, Nadia Jordan, Furry Cat Productions. Um, She's making a film, and she um, was in the music business quite successfully, and this is her first film that she's producing, and she's got quite a famous person attached to it, and it's something also, he's not attached to it, but it's something to do with George Clooney, and I'm in it. <laughs> See, you focused up the way there really quickly. <laughs> I'm coming over. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to do that. That's probably going to happen April. Oh, is this April? No. March. So I've still got time to learn my lines. <laughs> Thank you for your question. So you get a shower cap all the way from New Zealand. I'm sure it'd be really useful. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your question. Uh, how are y'all doing? <laughs> you can save the best to last. Okay. 
<laughs> Don't all agree at once. <laughs> Hi. Hi, so I'm Alexis, I'm from Utah. And first of all, I'd like to say that I really liked Rowena's character until she put Lucifer in Cass. And I was very happy that she got injured. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I can take it. <laughs> Sorry for bringing that up again, but what was your reaction when reading the script and seeing that you were being injured? Injured. <laughs> like, like the way you're sort of being kind and pussy pussing around it when you snap my neck. I have to say that um, I love the shot of that, the stills of me lying on the ground. Sadly, I think it's the most beautiful shot that I've ever been in on, this, on the show, and it's when I was dead. Uh, when I was gone. Um, what was the question? <laughs> what was your reaction to reading the script? And it, see, I was trying to avoid the question. I wasn't even letting myself remember it. Are you? Oh, I'm keeping that one. That's a David Tennant one. Are you? A, do you like salad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice salad, isn't it? It's quite tall. Compared to me. <laughs> Oh. Um, my reaction, I'm stalling. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it very well because I'm stalling, so obviously. <laughs> I'm just like grinding to a halt because like, it's hard to say out loud. Is that, is that enough? Because I've not, I said to the ladies in the, in the, the meet and greet, the gentleman in the meet and greet earlier, I've not come up with a good, funny answer about it. Do you know what I mean? It's like. Yeah. I just feel like, oh, oh, that's how I felt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. There's not, that's not really, there's not really a, a verb or, or a noun or there's not really a word <laughs> that describes that. Thank you. Thank you. You're very, very beautiful. She is just gorgeous. Not that that's important. It's more important to be smart ass. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah from Portland, Oregon. Um, we are loving your tweets about your ladies' watch parties when you guys get to go yeah. to watch. Yeah! Yeah! How did that get started? And are you going to keep doing it? Yeah, I am. Um, it started because I don't, I don't have a television. When I first came to America, I was trying to save money and I didn't, I couldn't afford a television, whatever. And um, I, before everyone else was streaming stuff, I would stream stuff uh, the way that everyone is now, all the time. Uh, so I do actually own a television, it's just not plugged into any, anything that makes it go. <laughs> That's a technical explanation. Uh, and so there's a little Armenian cafe around the corner from my house. They're really nice people, really down to earth, and you know, really nice food. And it's really not fancy. It's really, really down to earth. And so I invite. I, this, I said to them, they have television screens up on the wall, and I said, oh, I have an episode on Wednesday night. Would you mind? A couple of friends. There was like 20 people turned up in this cafe. And uh, so now we, when, when we turn up, they're like, oh, it's a supernatural bunch. And, uh, I, when I, I, met, I met somebody recently who works in Warner Brothers, they were like, oh, so you have the, you know, you have the, the Twitter parties for... And I was like, ah, this is becoming a thing, and it's really fun. Because I get on, I get on so well, we all get on so well. Um, and it's like, Elena's come, Audrey, Catherine, Catherine's mum, Robin. Uh, and who else? Oh, Lisa Berry. She comes a lot. She's lovely. She plays Billy Reaper. Yeah, she's great. I love her singing that song in the trailer. Wasn't that amazing? Yeah. So I'm a fan girl of Lisa. And uh, I don't know how I'd feel like if Misha or something came along, I'd probably be a little bit bad. It's like, it's just it's my little cat. Thing. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I do intend to keep doing it. Yeah, thank you. We've got Sam Andy's. Ooh.
<laughs> she just said, you're so tiny. Like, like I need reminding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, somebody brought me a rose from, you know, some people do things like that, they bring women flowers, and, you know, I'm just yeah, saying, right. like... You don't bring Ruth flowers <laughs> anymore. You don't sing Ruth love songs. <laughs> it you don't give her chocolate like bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> you hardly talk to me anymore when it comes to the door at the end of the day. What kind of stuff did you give away, Ruth? I know you like to hand out. Uh, I gave away a sanitary bag. And of, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a Sam doll. And okay. Some, and some chocolate. The biggest giveaway though was my bunny. That was a that was a sore one. And my man I had a beloved treasure in the Borba home. Kids, nobody touches the bunny. <laughs> Why is it on the mantle? Because that's where it's gonna stay, on the mantle. <laughs> Conversation over. <laughs> Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, how much do we love this woman? <laughs> Let's give her a big, hearty Las Vegas salute, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ruth Connolly. <laughs> Thank you.